Do you need to slice up a model inside of Cinema 4D? Well, you're in luck because Rocket Lasso's slicers got you covered. We'll start out with some simple extruded text inside a volume builder inside a volume mesher. Inside the volume builder, inside the dropdown, create a dilate and erode to inflate the object. I'm going to jump our offset up to 111. You can change this modifier by moving into its fields tab. Inside, I'll create a new random field. Let's change our scale to something quite large, like 2000, and I want to scale it down to maybe 25% on the Y axis. To see the full effect, go up to the secret setting under voxel size, where we can increase this up until we can see the entire extent of the effect. And then we'll multiply this linear field so we can fade the effect out as we go upward. Moving into the plugin extensions, I can grab the Rocket Lasso Slicer tool. Let's grab the source geometry by going to Objects and linking our volume mesher. Clicking this handy auto scale button, it'll automatically match the height of our object. I want a couple of extra slices here to hide the model and shrink it down just a hair. In order to get the perfect point count, I'm also going to feed this into a Rocket Lasso Utility Splines resample. Then, setting the step up to 20, I can turn on my tick marks and see this new perfect subdivision. Now, hiding those away, feed into a loft, get some subdivisions by going into caps and a Delaunay tessellation. Density down to zero, and then the entire thing into a remesh. No adaptiveness, so it's ready for almost all quads for really nice simulation. Bring in a spatula from the asset browser and add on a collider tag. Then it's ready for us to add on a simulation cloth tag. I want this cheese to look melty, so let's make it ridiculously bendy and ridiculously stretchy. It's a large scene, so let's set the thickness up to 10, and then do a test run by hitting play. Thanks to that thickness, you can see we've got lovely distance in between each layer, so now we can throw this into a thicken. The default is already 10, so we're ready to throw this into a subdivision surface and make it nice and smooth. Lastly, into a MoGraph fracture object with the mode set to explode segments. Now we can control color with a plane effector. We want to turn off the position and use the field color. The field will be a simple random field set to affect color randomly. Then the color remap can be set to a gradient. Apply your favorite cheesy colors. Add an appropriately shiny material. Zoom on out. Rewind all the way. And A for quick shading. And then hit play for the end result. And of course, don't forget to use code RKTHARVEST for 40% off all Rocket Lasso plugins.